if you want your microphone to go from sounding like this to sounding like this, stay tuned. What's going on everybody? It's Erock here bringing you guys another tips and tricks video to help out your streams. Um, so today we are going over a nifty little program called voice meter to help out your microphone from sounding just kind of typical or normal to a little bit more professional sounding and you're on like a budget and you can't afford a really good microphone. This microphone's 40 bucks. I think it sounds great with this program. So just a quick disclaimer though, if you or you're going to have to restart your PC during this process. So keep that in mind, save the video. Um, leave a like on it, subscribe, just so you know where the video is going to be. And if you're interested in my Twitch streams, I do stream about two to three times a week. Just going to throw that plug in there real quick. So this is the program itself right here. It is called Voice Meter. Um, you're going to have to download it, obviously. So first link in the description box down below is going to be Voice Meter. Um, there is voice meter banana and there's voice meter potato. It's just like more advanced versions of this. I don't really think you need to go that into it. Um, so just this first link down here, you just hit install. It'll open up the files. You'll download it. And then second link is very important. It is going to be the VB audio cable. It is um another driver you're going to need to be able to input it into programs such as obs or discord um so you're going to want to do that it's going to after you install this stuff it's going to say do you want to restart your pc you're going to want to hit yes so then at this point in the video i will see you guys when you're done with your pcs restarting all right so now that you have voice meter um installed in everything these are my current settings um, when you, so all this is going to be blank basically. Number one here is going to be your microphone. I am using the WDM version. If this cuts out or it's not as good quality in your own opinion, you could try MME. I personally use the WDM. Uh, these next two sections, you can just mono them. You don't need them. Um, if you want to play around with the stuff, you can, but I don't use them at all. Um, and then this second area here is the hardware out output. This is where you're going to be using that driver you just installed. You're going to want to click A1 and then KS VB dash audio point is what you're going to want to put this channel on. Click and it's right there. And then your main focus now is going to be just on this first panel. Um, when you first load this up, this little box here is the most important one on this whole entire program. When you first load it up, you're, it's probably going to be right here and this is what your microphone sounds like. Um, you can move this all around the box and you can tell my voice is going to be different effects, different colors, different balances. Um, I find it best in the lower left area. If you go lower, your voice gets lower and then towards the middle, whatever. I typically like to have mine like in this area. That's where just where to me it's, oh, <laughs> that's where it just sounds the best to me. Somewhere right in that area. You're going to have to play around with what your mic, uh, and how it sounds. Um, you don't need to have any of this stuff checked or anything. You can leave this at zero, but all this bar does is just giving you a gain on your voice to make you louder. Um, so if your voice or your microphone needs that, you can do that. But you also can do that in other programs that you're using it with. And just to give you an example how to set it up in OBS, for instance, I'm going to go to my settings real quick. We'll go to audio. We'll bring this screen over. Hopefully you can read it. Um, but so the third one down here is mic auxiliary. You would normally click on your USB microphone. And for here, it's voice meter output, VB audio voice meter. That is the driver. Click on that, you hit okay. And then it goes to, um, goes to OBS, that's how it is. And then I just added a couple additional microphone settings. I will include those right here for you guys. This is an OBS. Um, so if you, Go to your mic and you go to filters. It's going to bring this guy up for you. 
You're not going to have any here, but I added three. I added a gain, a compressor, and a noise gate. In order to add these, you just hit the plus sign, and then there's gain here, there's compressor here, and there's noise gate. For the gain, I just moved mine up to 1.50. For the compressor, these are my current settings. If you need me to go over a more in-depth of what these sliders do, I will. But my ratio I have at 4, threshold minus 20, attack 2 milliseconds, release 50, output gain, I don't have an output gain. And then my noise gate, this is just so you don't hear like keyboard clicks, mouse clicks in the background while you're gaming. Um, you might hear them while you're talking and clicking at the same time, but if you're just silent and you're clicking and everything, it won't be heard. But yeah, so that's basically just a short condensed down version of how to make your microphone sound a lot better than it probably already does. So if you found this video helpful at all, leave a like on it and subscribe if you feel like it. Uh, if you're interested in any of the other videos I have on my channel. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll try and get to them as best as I can. Answer them as best as I can. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and for the support as always. And I'll see you in the next one.